What do you guys think about, I want to switch to the COVID stuff. Do you think that Biden's going to like lock the entire country down again or try to? Well, it seems like they're going that way. I mean, it, like you, you see what's going on in New York and I watch these politicians that they're so quick to shut everything down. Like, I don't know that there's much information out there that showed that the lockdowns actually did anything, right? Because there's places no. where they didn't lock down and, and they did and the numbers don't actually change anything. It's like, you know, the kids with masks in school, like you can do that and make someone wear a diaper on their face and there's psychological problems that come with it, et cetera. Like, I don't know that we've seen actual numbers that show it's different. When I look at, you know, as a former New Yorker, now that I live in Florida, I mean, literally a vaccine passport to go to work. Now, if if I were the left and this was the right doing it, they'd say, well, you know, what is it like 60 something percent of African-Americans in New York did not get the vaccine. Uh, you know, there's plenty of history as to why they may be skeptical about a government mandating it. So. Are, is that Jim Crow 2.0? We hear about that all the time. I mean, you're basically saying so African-Americans now can't go to work as as, you know, the largest group of unvaccinated people in New York. They can't go to work. They can't go out because if it was a Republican doing it, they'd be saying it's racist. But it's like they don't care because they're immune to that sort of criticism. Right. So, I mean, the notion of a and I'm I'm not an anti-vaxxer. If you want to get it, great. If you, yeah. I'm against you being like you're putting that shit in your arm or you can't live in America because that to me does not lead to a good place. You know, the whole, you know, papers, please thing throughout history mm -hmm. probably yeah, hasn't didn't work well. ever resulted in a good We're totally outcome. losing freedom. Like, of our I, have a, I have but a solution. We've given it up so easily. I have a good solution you know, so many for this. Oh, I, I just, I'm going to listen to these guys. It's like, why? Fauci? Mm -hmm. Like, does, does, do people really still think that, like, Fauci has credibility? I mean, is there the any? media loves him still. No, 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 he's is, never met is, a camera. What, is, he your, lie, uh, what is your solution? My to solution to this is if they ask me for my papers, I'm going to say, I don't have any identification. I'm just on my way to vote. Mm-hmm. You know, so that'll be so good. So you are fine with I, getting the vaccine. I'm cool with it. Okay. Um, I don't. Ha I, Bob, I think you missed the subtle <laughs> jab in there, buddy. That was, that was, but but you're right. Yeah. And, you know, it's not racist to need because Bill De Blasio said it yesterday. You need your vaccine card and a proper form of ID right. to go to work or to go to a restaurant or to go to the gym. Well, why is it so? Why is it all of a sudden then racist to say you need the same to vote to make sure that someone's not double counting or someone isn't mm -hmm. pretending to be someone else? Mm -hmm. And again. It's just the hypocrisy. They don't believe any of this shit. They just can sell it because they have a trillion dollar media complex, a trillion dollar social media complex that is literally their marketing department. It's like, OK, you know, the Taliban terrorists can have a Twitter account, but Donald Trump can't because, you know, a couple of mean What's tweets. What's the goal with the vaccine passports then? Probably control. I mean, it all seems like it all falls control. back down to control. Yeah. You know, we want to do just this. The way do I do You're people whenever to they us. want? We're going to break you. So that you just understand that you are just and, and it's it's the push towards socialism, communism, right? Everyone's going to be this way and we're going to tell you what you can and can't do. And honestly, there's been a big percentage of Americans that have just sort of gone, you know, willy nilly. And again, I don't care if you get it. Like if I was 85 with pre-existing conditions, like I shit, I'd, I'd be all over it. Right. But it's the government telling you you must do something uh, that sort of feels like it's just you know, against everything we have always valued as Americans. And yet a lot of Americans have not yet figured that out and have just given it up pretty damn quickly. Mm -hmm. so so should, I, should, I go, should I go and get the vaccine right now? It's listen, up to you. It's up to you. Okay. Like, you know, I, you know, if, if you need it for part of your life or this, but like this notion, like you need it again, if, if it's effective and all you, you follow the science because we're told we must believe in the science. Well, you know, like, you know, you better use an umbrella to keep me dry. Like, how does that, I don't, I don't understand. Like if if I if you have it, then you should be safe. If you want, wear a mask, then you should be safe. What difference does it make if someone else is doing it? But you know, again, they only follow the science when they can use the science to further their gain. The second the science goes against that, they ignore it and mm -hmm. it's totally forgotten. And again, the hypocrisy is what pisses me off more than anything. And I think a lot of young people just see right through it too. They see that it's a lot more about control. I than, hope so. This is, statistically know? speaking, if you're twenty, I think, or under, and you had COVID. Like 99.997% survival rate. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that 0 0.003 were like severe diabetics. The ones that died, the, the, the literally small handful, and it's terrible that it happened. I got to acknowledge that because otherwise they'll kill me. They'll kill me anyway. But, you know, it's terrible. But I imagine they probably had some sort of severe medical, pre-existing medical condition, maybe a condition they weren't necessarily aware of. But like, to then say like we're going to start vaccinating all these kids and all of that and it doesn't really matter to to do something that you're statistically better off getting than the common flu. Mm -hmm. It makes no sense to me. Uh, it shouldn't make sense to anyone else. A and yet the outrage is. Well, if you, if you go against the party line, though, you can get canceled. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of friends, again, combat veterans who have said stuff on certain platforms and then they just turn them off. 
And that's, yeah, just, or you're doing, a commentator, and if you say something against it, you're yeah. hey, guess what? You're not coming back on CNN yep. to talk about military affairs because you're not giving us what we want. So we'll find a vet who will give us what we want. So yeah, it's not will. an oh, objective yeah. opinion, but they say, oh, look, no, he's a veteran. You can't criticize that. I go, but there's 30 other guys that would say exactly the opposite. 30 other guys, perhaps with a lot more actual combat experience yes. that would say the exact opposite. But he's giving you the soundbite that you want. So he becomes the hero. They build him up. He starts figuring out how to monetize that. Oh, and yeah. that's how the game goes. Yes. If you're, like I said, with you the, don't want to get kickbacks. canceled. You're getting, no, don't get canceled. They'll pay you more. Start saying what they want. It's all about me. And that's, I mean, that that's the sad truth about it. I mean, the, the thing that I don't like, I mean, you don't know what's being told anymore. You don't know the truth. Correct. Uh, they could be saying anything. The media can say it's anything. Just what the media but I mean, says, yeah. it's what the media does. And I mean, let's be honest with this. Uh, China released a biological weapon to see how the West would respond. Yeah. And we completely shut down. Yeah. Well, but and I talked about this, so right? That like, really happen? Oh, yeah. Well, by the way, uh, hey, the now, now they're actually saying, but a year ago, I was like, hey, guys, like, why is it that, like, People we knew got canceled for saying, hey, there's a chance that it came from the Wuhan lab. So I was saying, wait a minute. When was that ever not the most plausible response? Meaning you're telling me it came because someone ate a bat about four feet outside of the lab that studies the fucking virus in question. Like, like you mean it, there's no possibility, zero, that it came from the lab that researches the exact thing that was released into society. The virus is named from, after the lab. Yeah, it came from, no, 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 two feet outside of the lab. That, yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Is anyone that dumb? And yet our medical community did it. If you were a doctor and you said, hey, there's a chance, not even saying that it happened, there's a chance that it came from the lab, you were canceled and shut out. Now a lot of the guys say, well, we kind of knew, but we just didn't want to be on the same page as Trump because they were afraid of getting canceled because that's how fucking science works, right? The laws of physics no longer matter. It doesn't matter what the laws of physics say because the CNN narrative is otherwise and therefore we can bend the rules of science and physics and math is racist to achieve an end. And that's pretty scary because it was always the most plausible. Now, again, another thing that could be would be that China did this perhaps on purpose, right? That's another theory. I'm not saying it happened. But like, who they, benefits from a virus that kills predominantly the oldest people that China probably doesn't want to take care of when they have a population of a billion four that are aging and starting to experience a little bit of wealth for the first time in their lives? You can no longer just say, you know, fuck you guys, like they could have uh, a couple of years ago. Another theory, again, no one even thinks about saying it because you'd get canceled. And I'm not saying it happened because they'll cancel me for even talking about it. But like, it's a theory. And in America, you used to be able to have these conversations and talk about them as, Maybe this happened. Maybe this happened. Maybe this happened. Maybe it's all a total accident. Maybe it did come from eating a bat. I doubt it. It doesn't seem like that would be statistical, statistically probable. Just, yeah, I, 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 I doubt it. Like, I don't know. People have probably been beating bats for generations and it hasn't released this many pandemics. And, you know, then they show you the, the photos of the wet markets. The problem is I've been told that some of those photos came from like Indonesia, not Wuhan, China. So it's like, we'll just fill in the blank here. Hey, this is this is how we feed the narrative. So there's so many things that could go on, so many things that are likely or at least plausible, meaning they could have been real, that we just discount and just say, there's no way that can't happen because it doesn't work to our ends. Like the scientists who said, yeah, we knew that was probably, you know, likely or probable or possible, but we couldn't do it because we couldn't be on the same page as Trump because we'd get canceled, even if he was right. It's like you get in trouble for, you know, Mao said Merry Christmas. So you said Merry Christmas. Well, he said it. You know, no kidding. Yeah, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, you know, it's like the Taliban. I don't agree with anything they say, but they're not wrong about calling out the hypocrisy of Facebook. Like they're Strangers. right on that one. Like I don't agree with anything they say, but in that case, they're not wrong, and I'm not wrong for saying they're right about something they're it's, actually right about. I don't. Like, the, that's the, how the, truth, the truth works. gets uh, gets confused too. I'm sorry. I was just over here thinking about. It. I've never. I said, I've said a lot of shit in my life. I've never said, "Hey, will you please pass the bat?" <laughs> this is the scene. How do you? I mean, how, how does you, that? You go? didn't have bat kebabs. <laughs> I mean, you've probably eaten some pretty bad shit in, yeah, in, in, in I don't Afghanistan. Think I've had a bat, you've never though. had bat kebab. 